One of the best investments I made was to put solar panels on my A-liner. It just freed me up of having to go to RV parks for hookups when I just needed a little power for fans and lights and my cooler. So uh, I've done a little video. I hope you enjoy it, uh, show you my setup and why it's a little different from others. Anyway, enjoy. When I first got the A-liner, I noticed there's a lot of space on the front roof to play with. I measured 80 inches across and 96 and a quarter inches high. Now I just had to choose the best solar array to fit in this space. After visiting a local supplier, I found these 100 watt flexible solar panels would be perfect for my needs. The dimensions meant that I could actually fit two on the roof, and being lightweight, they would not be a burden to lifting the roof up. Along with the panels, I needed a solar controller. This 10 amp Sunsaver is an entry level controller without a lot of bells and whistles, but is reliable and compact. Although it is possible to just glue the panels to the roof, I rejected this option as I wanted something that was easily removable. So I built an aluminum frame using one inch square U-channel extrusion. This provided rigid support and airspace between the panels and the roof. The U-channel made it easy to fabricate the frame with aluminum rivets. Once the basic frame was constructed, I glued the solar panels in place and secured them with sheet metal screws and washers. I made the frame for the panels align with the top and bottom of the roof. This gave me a solid structure to hold the frame securely with clasps. I'll give more detail on these later on. A Plano waterproof field box would house my controller. I added a frame for it at the bottom of the panels. Now this is all together, I can show you how my solar panels work. So these are the solar panels on the roof of my A-liner. I have two 100 watt panels. They're hooked up in series and I've got the controller on the outside, not on the inside. I'll explain why later. Um, the frame itself is extruded aluminum. Uh, I made this myself because I've used the flexible panels. They're a lot, lot more lightweight than the, the heavier ones in the frame. So because I have to lift the, the roof of my A-liner up, it makes it a lot easier. And here's the solar controller. And it's showing that it's fully charged. The battery is charged. Some fuses. And uh, everything is sealed with silicone on the outside so no moisture can get in. A lot of times you'll be camping in a restricted place with small space and a not a lot of chance to put your solar panels and point them direct the direction you want. A lot of time there's a tree in the way or something like that. So my solution is I made my panels so they come off. I have four clasps, two below and, and two above that I have padlocked. I can just take the padlock off. I can slide an aluminum rod out and then undo the clasps and the panel comes off. Along with having the solar panels detachable, I also made sure I had enough cable that ran from my battery to the panels. So I just, I just loop it around my propane tank clamp it on and when I need to go out to a, a table or something 20 feet away I can still do it with leaving the battery here. To remove the solar panels I need the roof folded down for a few minutes. This is only a minor inconvenience with an A-liner. Once the clasps are unlocked and the rods pulled out the panels can be removed. But first I need to free up some cable to allow me to move the array to a sunny location. So now they have the solar panels off. You can set them up wherever I want as long as the cord will reach. I have legs that just come out like that, so I angle the legs. And there we go. 
I know I've left out a lot of details, so please drop me a note if you have any questions. And don't forget to check my other A-liner videos as well. Happy camping!